Hello and welcome to DEX, a free design weekly exercise from the Graphic Design School. My name is Jackie and I'm going to show you how to create a textile print with layers and textures. Here we go. I firstly started in Illustrator where I drew the leopard print, which I've done here, taking inspiration from this image, and then the zebra the zebra drawing which I've taken inspiration from this zebra here. So the idea is that we will be placing this print on top of this print to create layers. I've done this third image because I wanted to give a bit more space to the print so that when these lines come through you'll see a few more of them. So to begin with, once you've done your illustrations. Go to Photoshop. I've set my canvas up at 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, which is the same as the illustrator drawings that I did. So we'll place the illustrator drawings in using place embedded. Go into the animal working file and place the leopard print, which is the first image. Press return and I'll just change the name here to leopard. Then we'll place the zebra file. Return. And I'm just going to place that other extra image I did because I think I'm going to prefer it. And we'll call this Leopard 2. Okay, so I might turn this one off, which is that first leopard. We'll place leopard 2 over the top. So there we are. We've got a, a nice print here, which is looking great, and there is a bit of depth having two layers, but we'll add a bit of texture. So to do that, I took a photo of, or had a photo of a piece of linen in a pinstripe so we place that and then we just need to push it out to the side so we'll hold shift move it out to the side and return okay so these are the three images we'll be working with we'll copy the linen because we'll need that a couple of times so if you do command j we'll copy it Go back here onto, just move these down so they're under the view of what we're looking at. So if we go to the leopard and turn off everything else in view, over here in the, ma, in the uh, magic wand tool, what we'll do is we'll press the design of the leopard. If you hold one and then go up the top to select and press similar, that will select that whole design because it's all in the same solid colour. So now we will go to select again and press inverse which has got all the white space now is selected. Go off the leopard onto a piece of the linen. And so because all that white space is selected, if we press delete, it'll leave our print in the linen. 
um, and there's just one problem here and that's because they are a smart object the um, the linen is so if you right click on the image here sorry on that layer and you need to rasterize the layer so we'll try that again and press delete and command D will just move away the, the little ads marching around the edges so we'll pop that under here under the leopard just turn the leopard back on right click rasterize the layer and now we'll just have a little bit of a play where we can um, under here under layers have kind selected and then you can have a little bit of a play with darkening multiply color burn lightning until you get to something that you like um, which I might go with hard light for the moment now we need to do the same process for the zebra so I'll just turn off these eyes pop the zebra on make sure you rasterize so right click on the layer rasterize the layer I'm going to copy the linen again command J and rasterize that layer also okay back to the zebra we'll grab the wand and click on one of the lines there go up to the top press select and similar and so now it's got it's grabbed all of the light khaki colors for me so now we will unclick zebra go into the linen copy and with the lines that we have selected I just want to inverse that so if you go up to select inverse so that just holds onto the white page again make sure you clicked onto the linen and press delete so we now have this zebra sitting on top of the linen we'll go back up and have a bit of a play again and you notice that I only I only selected one lot of the lines because I thought it'd be nice to have extra depth with solid color and just have a bit of a play see what we like and I think I quite liked up further which was darkened so again you go into your top layer so press layers make sure you're on the top of the two layers click kind and then I've pressed this bar under here and gone to darken now we'll turn these back on and see how the whole design is looking and command D just moves away those marching arts and there we go we have our print it's a bit of extra texture and a bit of depth using the layers thank you